I'm Kathy Koblenz, Rare Materials Cataloger, and I'm going to show you a book I recently cataloged that belongs to the library's Spencer Collection. It's an early edition of Hortus Sanitatis, Latin for Garden of Health. It's been called the first natural history encyclopedia, though I think of it as more of a 15th century physician's desk reference. Hortus Sanitatis culls from many ancient and medieval sources, providing the best information then known on how to use all sorts of plants, animals, and minerals to treat ailments and diseases, or in certain cases, how to overcome their bad effects. Each of the more than a thousand short chapters covers one subject portrayed in a more or less recognizable woodcut. Willow is suggested as a headache remedy. Willow bark actually does contain a natural pain reliever, the predecessor of a key component of aspirin. Garlic, we learn, will drive off leopards and scorpions. Mixed with honey, it's a topical remedy for dog bites. Spider webs can be used to bandage wounds. Lapis lazuli can relieve melancholy. Maybe that's why I like to wear it. The burned remains of the sea hare can cure baldness. But if a pregnant woman so much as lays eyes on a live sea hare, she will spontaneously abort. This mollusk with rabbit ear-like tentacles is an actual sea hare. We can't fault the illustrator for his fanciful portrayal. He probably had never even seen the ocean. Another odd-looking sea creature said to be good for treating bleeding wounds and eye ailments, the sponge. There is nothing in the text to suggest that it can be played like a flute. I can only imagine that the illustrator took the concept of a fish with holes and ran with it. The dolphin's description as the brother of man was taken rather too literally. Add to that the assertion that the dolphin's eyes are on its back while its mouth is on the other side and we get a truly bizarre-looking pair of creatures. A dolphin's tooth amulet, we're told, will prevent panic attacks. Another creature the illustrator had almost certainly never seen is the elephant, and yet this isn't a bad likeness. Their fat and dung can be used as contraceptives. Don't ask. 